I am so oh. <laughs> sorry. Hi, you guys. I'm Emily Burgess, and I am so excited about this call. This type of call is what really um, like fires me up because this is a story. We're getting to share the story of so many different women who have seen incredible results on the products. And I was somebody that was super, super skeptical. And so I needed to hear stories like this for me to ever even have a chance to even consider trying. Um, and so when I heard about Plexus in the very beginning, years and years ago, I thought it was just a weight loss fad diet. So I wasn't interested. I knew that the right way, the best way to lose weight was through exercise and healthy eating. But as a mom of young kids who was trying to exercise and find the time to exercise, or as a mom of young kids trying to eat healthy, but only eating leftover chicken nuggets and pieces of goldfish, like it was just really, really hard. And so I started on the products four and a half years ago, and I saw some really great changes in my bloating and my digestion and just my stomach problems in general. I also saw changes in my weight. I saw great changes in my energy, which is incredible as a mom and as somebody who's running a home and so, you know, being a wife and supportive wife and being involved in all the things like it's so important to have that energy. And so having that energy um, increase was huge for me, having better sleep, all the things. And so I started sharing about these products and I was really scared because I didn't want to be that girl. I knew how skeptical I was but I knew what the products were doing for me and I knew what they were doing for other people. And so I just started to share. I just trusted the process. I trusted that I had experienced the things that I had. Um, and it was a joy in my job to go and tell other people about it because as a woman, I am constantly telling people about the latest sell at target or the greatest new restaurant in Boise, Idaho, or, a great fun craft to do with your kids or a fun free date night to do with your spouse. So why is this any different? And so I started to share and it's been six and a half years of an incredible ripple effect. And so hearing the stories tonight from these three women who've become very, very close friends of mine, they bring me to tears. Like their stories bring me to tears because I know that that is a result of doing something really scary. And I know they have people who have joined them as customers that are also experiencing incredible incredible benefits from these products and that's making these women Sarah Joe and Kimberly and Jessalyn that fills their cup because they know they're able to help other people so tonight I encourage you to kind of set your skepticism to the side and and just hear these women I can attest for these women these are my friends they are godly women who are incredible friends. They're not salesy. They only are sharing because of something that has helped them in an effort to help others. So um, Sarah Jo, we're gonna pass it off to you. Thank you all for being here tonight. Hey guys, so um, my name is Sarah. I am a teacher. I have been teaching for 14 years. And so that's just kind of my gig. I have taught high school as a high school band director director for 10 years and now I'm doing elementary music so I get to be home with my littles a little bit more and so that's been a fun but different change um and so I started hearing about Plexus years ago and honestly I'm kind of with Emily on that I thought it was a weight loss scam I was like no thank you I can just eat better and exercise more it's great it's great um no I can't so um <laughs> I can I can but it wasn't working I don't know if you've ever been there like I still tried to eat the salads and to do the things and to be cleaner with my eating and to get up and go work out and do the things and nothing really worked. And I just assumed I'm working harder and then it'll work. Well, fast forward a few years, I've been working on that healthier lifestyle, I'm not a diet girl. I, I just can't, I can't diet. I would, I would cheat all the time or I can't, if you tell me no, then I'm going to try to figure out a way to get it. Like that's just the way my brain works. So for me, it had to be a lifestyle change. So I was working with that with my family. I wanted to be there for my kids. I wanted to be there as they grew up. I wanted to be active with them. I wanted to play with them. But if I couldn't just come home from work and sit in my recliner every day because I had no energy, I had no energy. I couldn't mom. And that's really humbling to say, but I couldn't mom. I just couldn't. Um, I'm very blessed with a husband who picked up slack for a while. Um, I love that. I'm allergic to the word diet. Yes, Melissa, we are friends. Um, so anyways, I heard about it. 
it again through Rachel. And I, guys, I love Rachel. She is my friend and we were close. And she said, look, come check this out. Come to my event. I am a good friend. Still good friends go to the events. Even if you're like, whatever, this is such a scam. I'm not doing it, but I'm coming. I'm a good friend. So I went and they didn't talk about weight loss. They talked about gut health. And I was like, what is this? And the more I listened and the more I read and the more I looked into it, the more I realized, oh my gosh, this is a real thing. And it talked about how your gut health is tied to so many things. And so I remember sitting there and agonizing with my husband going, I can, what if I just try it? What if I just try it? I'm at my, the, the end of my rope. I can't do anything. Guys, I was literally, let me give you a snapshot. I was literally living on a minimum of five cups of coffee. We're not talking like little cute cups. We're talking about cups. You know, anybody out there, big cups? Anybody else, big cup girl? Okay, so we're talking about five big, thank you, five big cups of coffee every day minimum. Like if I didn't have coffee, I was going to fall asleep driving home. That's where I was. Um, I would get in the door. I'd get the kids in the door and I would sit in my recliner and I passed out until it was just about bedtime. I'd wake up, give my kids a hug, eat dinner maybe. And that was it. Again, I'm very thankful. My husband kept so many things afloat during that season of life because it was so bad. Um, and so I, okay, this might be TMI for you, but I only went to the restroom like twice a week, once a week, maybe twice a week. So I had constant stomach pain and I just thought that was normal. Like I thought that's just how everybody lived. Everybody lived as part of getting older, you know, stomach pain, never got to go to the bathroom, all the things. Um, I was very scatterbrained. I very much couldn't remember anything at all. Um, it was a struggle to just keep things straight. My students even know if you didn't see Mrs. Morris write it down, it ain't gonna happen. Like they just knew. So I had to write or everything down that I was going to um, have to remember later. And so it was just a very, very tough time. Well, um, so I decided to go ahead and give this. I trusted my friend. Um, she introduced me to my other beautiful friend, Carrie. If you don't have a Carrie in your life, you need one. She is just an encourager and a wonderful human. And she said, let me walk with you too. And I said, okay. And so I trusted her. And so we started this journey. My husband and I prayed about it. We decided that we were going to take this leap. We were going to make a commitment for three months to, to, just to see if this worked. If it was a scam, it was a scam, but I tried it. And I was like, but I trust them. I trust these ladies. They are godly women. And, um, so I, I went for it. Okay. I started within just a couple weeks. I was making dinner when I got home from work. Like, I don't know about you guys. That was a big deal. I came home and I was like, Hey, Oh, I really probably should pick this up. And I started cleaning. I don't know who this person is. Um, I started doing things when I got home from work, not only that, but I started noticing I wasn't drinking five cups of coffee, like five, five cups, right? Okay. Five cups of coffee anymore every day. I started taping that down. Um, I found out that I was, I slowly started getting to where I was going to the bathroom normally. Guys, like now I go two to three times a day. It is, a, it is amazing and a miracle. And if you're not, you need to. And I know people don't want to talk about it, but it's so important and it makes you feel so much better. Go to the bathroom. Um, if you need help with that, we got you. But it, it just made such a huge difference in my life. So I started going from where I was just surviving through the day to where I was actually thriving in my day. In fact, a couple months in, one of my students goes, Miss Morris, that's not right. Why do you have more energy than we do? They were sixth graders. Why do you have more energy than we do? And I was like, I don't know, get your gut health in check. I didn't say that, but I wanted to. Um, because it's a thing. Like it is, it is real. And if you'd asked me two and a half years ago, I just told you like, mm, now 100%. This is it. Getting your gut health in check is important. So I would be able to come home. I could cook. I could play with my kids. It was amazing when I started being like, hey, hey, let's go jump on the trampoline. And my kids are like, I'm sorry, what? We just got home from school. Yeah, let's go jump on the trampoline. And I could surprise them and go be the mom I wanted to be all those years. And I couldn't have been then. But now I can. We come home. We go on family walk. We come home. We go ride bikes. We come home. We go jump on the trampoline. Like I have a life with my kids. They want to play baseball. Great. I got you. I'm taking you to practice as soon as school's over and I've got the energy to do it. Oh, you need to practice. Great. Practice is over. Let's go play on the soccer fields for a while. Like now to where being active is just a part of life for us. Um, I, like I said, I'm going to the bathroom regularly now. I've lost over 13 inches off my waist and that's not with me doing major yeah, care at your face. That's not with me doing major huge things. Yes. 
can I work out now because I have energy? Yeah. So do I make myself more active now? Yeah, because I can, because I have the energy and my body feels good. Um, I work to eating healthier now um, because I have the energy to think ahead and make healthier meal plans and choices for my family. So it's all interconnected. Um, and I'm just working, continuing to work to be healthier. I've still got a ways to go. I can focus now. If any of my other scatterbrained friends are out there, I have better focus now than I ever did. Um, yes, it's such a huge win. So here's something that I've noticed in the last couple months that I had not paid attention to. They just kind of happened. So I've been doing this for about two years now. So you can tell like it's a healing process. Consistency pays off. You have to be consistent if you want anything to pay off. But here's some new, some other wins I've noticed. And then I'm going to be quiet and move on. Um, I don't have, I used to have really dry elbows. I don't know if anybody else, they were awful. And I just thought that was life. They're gone now. I just happened to notice that the other day. I was like, hey, my elbow's not all dry and gross anymore. Uh, my skin has gotten clearer. I'm not having breakouts anymore. I'm not having splotches on my face. Um, I feel less sense of overwhelm and anxious feelings that used to be all the time. I, everybody I thought was like this in the background. And then I realized, no, that's not how normal people live, where there's just always a humming like in your brain and something going on and you're forgetting something and something's happening. There's like quiet, and calm more now. Um, and then I also used to have something called fatty liver, non-alcoholic fatty liver. Liver, I can't speak today. And um, that's gone away. That's not a thing anymore for me. Um, all of my stuff has come back in check um, and I'm cleared of it. And so I've had a lot of wins that are major health wins along with just being the mom I want to be, being the teacher I want to be. And it's been amazing. And I'm sorry I got a little long-winded, but these products are for real. This group of people is wonderful. This community is amazing. And then in the process, I was able to um, find a way to get my products paid for. So it's not even coming out of my pocket anymore. And I'm able to do this and, and enjoy the benefits of this life too. So I'm going to hush and I'm going to pass this off to Kimberly if you're ready. And um, I'm so excited for you to hear her story as well. I hope you enjoy. I am ready. Thank you, Sarah. That was awesome. That was so great. I love to hear everybody's story. We're all different, but we realize how similar we actually are when we start taking Plexus. Um, my journey before Plexus goes back a long way, right? Like most of ours do. Um, but I um, had a long, many, many years of just not knowing what was going on with my body. Um, anxiety began in my early 40s, right along with perimenopause. Um, constipation began right when we have our kids. Constipation begins when we have our kids. It just completely changes our body and our hormones. Um, so I didn't realize before Plexus that I was, that I, that only going three times a week was normal, right? And sometimes less than that. Um, and even that, it was difficult to go. Now I know that is not normal. Um, along with the anxiety, really high stress levels. Um, perimenopause just took me through a gamut of so, so much stress. And um, all of that produced, I think, more cortisol, but I didn't really gain the weight in my belly. I lost weight. And so I had an issue with not weighing enough um, for a lot of that time. And then that added more stress to me as well. I um, Anxiety was so prevalent that it, it wasn't uncommon for me to be in the ER a couple of times a year thinking that I was having a heart attack. You know, this was finally the day that this was a heart attack and I was dying and they were going to actually find something wrong with my heart, but they never did. Um, <clears throat> I tried so many meds and antidepressants and um, sometimes, yes, they would help me feel better for a little while um, and I tried different modalities of healing for that. But the meds were never a long-term solution because they always made me feel, after a while, they made me feel so numb that I just didn't feel like a human being anymore. Um, certain situations would trigger my anxiety, loud noises, big crowds. I would have to get up and leave the movie theater or the room of where we, wherever we were. Um, even exercising would trigger my anxiety really badly. Um, if my heart rate got too high, I felt like I was 
having a panic attack and all of the, that cycle of, of fearful thoughts and things that my body was doing that I just couldn't um, understand or have any control over really. I also had, <clears throat> I also had really major sleep issues um, that started when your kids are little, your sleep issues start and then you start surviving on caffeine. Um, but they got worse when I started perimenopause, when I hit my forties and, um, I was either unable to fall asleep until like two or three in the morning, if at all. Um, or I would wake up between one and two and just not be able to go back to sleep. And so I felt like, I just felt like a walking zombie. It just increased my stress. And, um, along with that, I found out that I have a genetic um, I have the MTHFR gene. If anybody knows that, I have that genetic mutation. I'm also sensitive to caffeine, so I couldn't, I couldn't take B vitamins because the ones I was taking were um, folic acid instead of the wonderful ones that we get through Plexus, which are completely methylated. Um, if you want to know more about that, just ask the person who invited you here, and they can fill you in on that. Um, sensitivity to caffeine, which I found out and sensitivity to coffee. And so the thing that I was surviving on was not helping me in many ways and contributing to my anxiety. I also had really, really weird numbness in my extremities, but it wasn't peripheral neuropathy and the doctors could not figure out why I had it. Um, parts of my torso and my feet would just feel like they were falling asleep, especially at night when I would lay down. And then I got COVID, COVID happened and I got COVID and it did a huge number, not only in my taste and smell, but on my gut. And um, I, even I had long COVID too. So I, not only when I had it, but after I got over it, it was so bad. I, I mean, it looked like I was four months pregnant most of the time, but when I would try to eat a meal, literally I could only eat five or six bites of that meal. And by that time, I was so incredibly uncomfortable and bloated that I just felt like I, I'm, I could not, I could not eat anymore. And I survived on Gasex, and um, other digestive enzymes, and just anything that I could find over the counter that would help relieve that bloating. Well, then um, so I think I've covered it all. Um, that that high, not all of it. Trust me, there's a lot more, but. Those high stress levels, again, just made me feel like I was, like Sarah Jo said, I couldn't mom. Not only could I not mom, I couldn't be a good daughter to my aging mother. And you, if you're at my age at all, your, your parents just get to the point where they need you more and more. And I felt so bad some days because I just felt like I don't even, I don't even like my mother anymore. And that's not me. I love my mother. We have a great relationship, but my stress was so, so bad that I just felt like I was going to internally combust if, if anybody needed anything that was over and above the normal stuff that I had to deal with. So March of 2022, my wonderful friend, Melissa, who's on this call and her mom and her aunt are on here too. Hi, you guys. Um, March of 2022, I actually saw Melissa post in February and I had known about her long, long struggles um, with her health. And I saw her post and I thought, that's interesting. She's drinking that pink drink. And I've seen that before. That's weird. I thought it was only a diet thing, right? So fast forward a month, um, I finally, I saw her post again, but between those times I had seen her at church and she walked up to me and I thought, what in the world happened to you? Because you look like a new woman. She was vibrant. She looked alive. She had color in her face. She wasn't wearing a mask. And if you know anything about Melissa's story, she wore masks before they were popular because her immune system was so compromised. She had to wear a mask when she went out. So I saw her and I thought, man, if it can help her I know it has the possibility of helping me. So I signed up um, in March of 2022. The first thing to go, hallelujah, <laughs> was the constipation. I could go. It was amazing to me. I thought, what in the world? This is normal. And Melissa assured me, yes, it's good. It's normal. That is good. Um, more than once a day. And then with being able to eliminate, guess what went away? The bloat. The bloating went away because I had so much stuff in me that wasn't being eliminated. So it went away within three weeks. 
um, and the ability to be able to eat. Uh, you guys, <laughs> I ate and it was wonderful and I enjoyed it and I loved it. Um, but with that, I did not gain weight. I lost four inches. Remember I said I looked for four months pregnant. I lost four inches around my middle in the first month of being on these products. So now that's leveled out a little bit. I'm no longer that, that much. It's come up a little bit because your body balances out. That's what these products do. They balance your body, um, gets you to your happy spot. Um, anxiety and stress went way, way down about month two, a month to two months into going um, onto Plexus. And I honestly feel like I don't even deal with anxiety anymore quite literally, like all those situations that used to give me stress and anxiety. Um, if I get any, um, I have to be really stressed out about something else in order for anxiety to, to really kick in. Most of the time I don't feel it at all. So that's, I mean, if it had only taken away my anxiety, you guys, I would still be on it. If it had only enabled me to go to the bathroom, I would still be on it. But that's how amazing it is, is it's like a domino effect. When your heel, when your gut heals, those dominoes just begin to fall down because it works. Um, sleep took a little bit longer to kick in for me. I would say it didn't really kick in for me until about three months in. Um, and I cannot say that I sleep really, really good all the time, but I would say it's at least 80% better. Um, there are very few nights that I have difficulty with sleep um, and I'm dreaming again. Did you guys know that dreaming is a sign that you're actually sleeping deeply? And I hadn't dreamt for years. Um, then, um, you know, that's pretty much it. There are so many other things we could all sit here and talk about how much this has done for us um, for so long. Yeah, hot flashes, that's great. Hot flashes are good. Um, but I am so grateful um, for Melissa sharing, taking this opportunity, being bold and being brave and sharing it on Facebook and social media, and then reaching out and asking me if I was interested. And I'll just tell you that's it in a nutshell. That's what we do at this company. We share and then we reach out and ask other people if they're interested to, or if they, they wanna take a chance on these products. Um, it did not take much for me to say yes, I'll be honest with you there. Um, even though I didn't really know that much about what Plexus was, I'm one of those people that um, I had tried so many things in the past and all of them had helped a little bit, um, but I'm kind of a person who, who doesn't uh, write something off until I've tried it. So I jumped in and I tried it and I, um, I'm a lifer, I'm here for good. And I am a much nicer, I'm a more balanced mom, I'm a healthier mom and my entire family has benefited from these products. It has helped our daughter um, with special needs. She lost 40 pounds in high school and it has helped her continue to lose inches um, in a healthy way. And she absolutely loves the pink drink. Um, she takes her block, she takes her balance, she takes her Metaburn. She's just a trooper. Um, it's helped my son with chronic diarrhea, my husband with acid reflux. We just all have a good story that has to do with Plexus. So thank you so much um, for coming on here and listening to our stories. And um, if you have questions about anything, um, reach out to the person who invited you, or you can reach out to me. I'm so, so happy that I got to share with you tonight. And so we are ready for Jessalyn. Take it away, girl. All right, y'all. Sorry. It literally just kicked me off. <laughs> We're here. Okay, my name is Jessica. We've had a day. Um, okay, quickly, I am Jessalyn Dickerson. I am a physician assistant. I am a mama to two littles. I have a three-year-old son and a six-month-old daughter who was literally just asleep in my arms. But you know, this is real life. <laughs> um I have been on the product for many years and I'm so sorry, y'all. Oh. 
Um, hey, Jess, if you need us yes. to, we, we can, somebody can fill in or we can close out early. I know that it's a little bit crazy right now. It's not a problem at all. Daddy's got her. Okay. Here we go. Okay. So I will be quick. I was super skeptical. Um, as a healthcare professional, I was like, I need products that I feel like I can truly stand behind. And so I did my research and I was super hesitant for a long time, but I was in PA school when I started and I was tired of being tired all the time. And I know that that sounds super cliche, but it's true. So I um, gave it a try. I was on sleep aids every single night, whether it be Benadryl or Tylenol PM or melatonin or anything of the sort. Um, I needed it every single night to sleep. My um, anxiety was through the roof. Being in PA school, um, we were newlyweds, just life, lots of stressors going on. Um, hey, Jessalyn, you muted yourself. I think. Here we go, people. I promise life is not always like this. Um, okay. So I started sleeping deep pretty quickly. I have been off of my anxiety medication and my sleep aids for almost three plus years. I don't take allergy medicine anymore. Um, I have had two super healthy pregnancies. I've been very blessed to be on Plexus for both of my pregnancies. Um, I breastfed and am currently breastfeeding my little one. Um, I have a overwhelming milk supply, um, thanks to our products for sure. If you've never looked up the, um, correlation between gut health, um, and balancing your blood sugars and milk supply, I definitely encourage you to do that. If that's something that affects you or you're interested in, um, it gives me energy. I sleep deep, even with a newborn who most of the time sleeps great, but not always, <laughs> um, I pretty quickly got back to my pre-pregnancy weight, which has been awesome. Um, during pregnancy, I was able to avoid lots of swelling and inflammation. Um, as a PA, I'm on my feet a lot, walking around doing all that kind of stuff. And that was um, truly never really a struggle for me, which was a huge blessing. Um, I had headaches super frequently and um, that's no longer the case. I even would get migraines. And those no longer happen. I can't tell you the last time I had a migraine. Um, I still love my sweets, but I don't need them, right? So I used to feel like I would need a piece of chocolate or I would need something sweet after every meal. Um, now that's not the case. If I have something sweet, great. And if not, no big deal. Um, the products have blessed myself and my entire family in a hundred ways. Um, my husband has been able to be a stay-at-home dad um, because of our extra income, which has been a huge blessing. And um, we've been able to pay off debt and just so many things. Um, but like Kim and like Sarah, I am a better mom. I'm a better wife. I'm a better employee. <laughs> um, I'm just a better person on the products. And I am truly, truly thankful for everything um, that they have done for me and, um, and my family. So, um, my husband, for example, has irritable bowel and, um, that's under control helps my toddler with his occasional constipation, depending on his diet and how many days in a row we eat mac and cheese and chicken nuggets. Right. So, um, I just love that these products are safe and that there's something for everyone. Um, this afternoon I made it my pig and drink and my son was like, what are you drinking? And it's totally fine for him to drink it. And I, I'm not worried about what he's consuming. Um, in fact, he prefers that over juice most days. So that's briefly my story. Again, I'm sorry, y'all. Life just happens sometimes, but that's the beauty of this um, company is, and these products, um, it allows us to, to be present and it allows us to do these things. It allows us to feel our best, even in the midst of craziness. <laughs> and um and, and just so much more. The community, these women, um, I could go on and on, but I'm going to stop myself because it's been a day and I'll probably start to cry. So I think Kara is going to wrap it up for us. Thanks everyone for coming. And if you have questions about maybe a story you heard, um, just feel free to reach out to the person who um, invited you tonight. 
we can get information to you on products they've taken and go from there. But we're just so thankful to have the opportunity to share our stories with you and hope everyone has a really good night. All right, y'all take care.